Hey guys, it's going to do again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you an experiment that I created with face tracking. I'm going to play the video and show you the results. So as I move around, the AR face manager gets instantiated and also after the time elapsed, I'm basically destroying the AR face manager, which is why some of these faces are staying in the air. I also have multiple free fabs in the scene that I can set up through a script. And then each time we go through and hit a max number, that max number gets reset and then at that point i create a new ar face manager with the new prefab so i'm going to show you the code that i implemented to generate that so the way that it works is i have this ar session origin just like we do on all of our tutorials specifically with ar foundation and by default it has the toggle face and also an ar session origin before this i had the ar face manager associated with this but i don't need it because i'm going to basically be creating that dynamically the other thing that i also have is i have faces and faces is an array of prefabs these which in my case is just game objects so each one of these has a different texture so if you go and look at this one you can see that that one has a cartoon animated underscore three underscore one underscore two and also the texture is changing for instance this one that it represents a virus because right now we're going through the coronavirus and the world is crazy so I wanted to create a, something that resembled that. So in this case, this has a coronavirus kind of texture. And I'm not going to go through the shader because I don't think that's in the scope of this video. I just want to focus on the code and show you how that works. So there's basically multiple different prefabs that I have associated. I have a frequency and I also have a max until a span. This means that every, every second we're going to be spawning a new prefab, which in our case is going to be an entire face manager so let me show you the code i'm going to go ahead and double click on the toggle face so the first thing that i do is i create a public ar face manager i also have an array of game objects these are going to be all the prefabs that i show you that i'm using because they also have different materials it's going to be a timer i also have a serialized fields for the frequency i have also a flow which is going to determine at what point to create a new prefab I also have an index, so this determines, you know, what is going to be the index of the current phase showing. I start at negative one because it's an array of zero index. So as soon as I increment it to zero, that's going to basically start at zero. And then when we reset it, we set it back to negative one. So the other thing that I do, I check, okay, is the timer less than or equal to the max until span, which is going to be one second. If it's now, I'm going to be incrementing the, the basically the timer. I grab the time delta time multiply it by the frequency and then if we do hit the max then i'm going to do an else statement and i check okay if the index plus zero is equal equal to the faces that length which means that i'm at the max number so i'm going to be resetting that back to negative one and then i just increment the index then the next thing that i had to do was call the destroy media if i don't call the destroy media this is going to basically generate issues it's going to generate nullables because at this point if you don't destroy it right away you're gonna have any you're gonna have problems so what i ended up doing is i say okay well if the air face manager which what we could do is we could probably just check to make sure that it's not null just to just to be safe so we can just say if that's not equal to null then we're gonna be you know we're gonna be destroying it otherwise there's really no reason for me to call destroy media so if it's not null, we're going to be destroying it. Otherwise, we're going to proceed. And then we're going to basically just add a new AR face manager. I grab this game object, and then I add a component of type AR face manager. Then I use the, the, the face prefab, which is a component of the AR face manager. And I can show you that by going back into Unity. Just go back, and then it's going to recompile. And what I normally do to do that, because I'm having issues with some of the IntelliSense in VS Code, because I've been using my, my PC for the most part. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it here, and I'll show you. So if you look at this component, it has a face prefab, which is the public variable. So let me just go ahead and remove it, and now that we have it. So you can see that I have that available, and that's the same thing that I'm doing in here. I'm just saying, okay, AR face manager, grab your public variable, which is the face prefab, and then I'm going to set that variable, which is going to be this public property. And then I'm going to set it basically to the faces that index. So that's going to grab the first iteration through. It's going to grab index one, which is going to grab the first prefab. Then I'm going to reset the timer. I'm just going to lock what the, what the current index is. And, and then basically it's just going to go through again. So after one second, we're going to be, you know, we're going to go into the else. 
it's going to grab the next one is and it's basically going to go through that loop multiple times so that's how this works it's actually fairly simple so if we go back i also have multiple shaders in here that you guys can use i have this cartoon animated shader one which is this one right here they're all duplicates they just have different different materials and different textures well in this case it's actually going to be a texture right because this is going to be the superhero but i do have multiple materials for the different prefabs that we're going to be that, that i'm currently using so if i go to shaders and we look at shader three this is a different a different material different texture also on this one i have a different one and then this is the one that has the virus so and then the last thing that i have is different textures in here so if you want to look at the cartoon texture see the sizes also a human face that i'm currently not using but i was using in another demo also the superheroes which i just showed you that and then i also have this virus if you guys want to use that one or i also have this other copy which is which i could probably just call it too and then let me just go ahead and rename the the first one i like to keep everything organized and then if we go back here set it to one then you have multiple textures to play with so i'm going to be putting these in patreon as early access so if you guys want to become a patron you can get the code as early as you know a few hours right now it's 238 so I probably should be able to post it around 10 a.m so go ahead and get it in patreon or just wait about a week or two where i'm going to be making it available as open source in github so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys if you guys have any other questions please let me know